Hey everybody, it's Mr. Sioka. In this video, we're going to take a look at a fiscal policy or Keynesian solution to our recessionary or contractionary gap. I've taken the liberty to start us off with our standard aggregate demand, aggregate supply model, and I've labeled AD and SRAS, and I'm going to put the short run equilibrium on the graph as PL1 and Y1. In addition, since we're in a recessionary gap, I am going to label full employment and long-run aggregate supply, and I'm going to label them so that they are to the right of my current short-run equilibrium. And the reason for that is, again, we are in a recession, which means the current level of GDP is insufficient to create full employment. So as a result, Y1 is to the left of full employment. Now, the Keynesian belief is that wages were kind of sticky and that the classical solution of wages falling and the economy fixing itself would take way too long. So Keynes believed that we had to resolve this issue by increasing demand for goods and services. And he believed that there was only one party that was big enough to actually accomplish that, and that was government. So Keynes felt that if we increased government spending and or we decreased net taxes, which would hopefully increase consumption, government spending and consumption are both components of aggregate demand and the aggregate demand curve would shift to the right. So I'm going to shift our aggregate demand curve to the right, reflecting this increase in consumption and government spending and I'll label it AD2 and you can see here that it's shifted rightward and we have our new equilibrium which we'll label PL2 and Y2 and you can see that when aggregate demand increases price levels go up but so don't GDP and the economy returns to the full employment level of output. Thanks for listening. Bye.